Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Balictecture YouTube channel. I'm Luca, the head of design and we are specialized in architecture, sales and construction. So guys, today we are in Yanyi, north of Changu, and I'm so excited because this is designed and built by house. It's a two-story, three-bedroom villa. So stay tuned, don't forget to like and subscribe as always and follow me in this beautiful tour. Okay everyone, welcome and I hope you're ready to start this tour. So follow me inside this beautiful villa. This is a really long and narrow open space layout and it's ending right in front of the beautiful rice paddies. So I really appreciate how bright is this space, even though it's really narrow and the perimeter walls are quite high. We always use um, these pocket gardens that ensure um, natural diffused light inside the villa. So we start here from the dining room. So this beautiful six seater tick table. And you see beside me already the stairs that leads to the second floor, but we will go there later. And then we visit the kitchen. One of the interesting details that attracts my attention here, it's the use of the alang wood in the ceiling. Uh, they, they carve the rectangle on top of the island and they use the same alang that usually it's used for roofs. And it's really a nice detail, it gives really a tropical touch. Also the pendant bamboo light really helps for that. So really small uh, island top and then classic materials used, uh, teak and composite top for the kitchen. You notice here downstairs, there's a small concrete seater. It's really cute. It's a really smart use of the space under the stairs, which usually it's left um, empty. So now we leave the kitchen space and we approach one of the favorite places of the house. And it's this really nice sunken sofa facing the swimming pool and the rice paddies. And one of the details that I appreciate here, it's this really dark wall. It's a lava stone. It's Parastulung Agung. It's a local stone. And all the materials here are used in a smart way. So they're not overwhelming. It's just that uh, it's really minimal, but they really give the tropical vibe to the space, even though everything is so modern. So again, you see the along the top, these two beautiful rattan lights that gives this Bali vibe to the place. And then concrete seat with really white, bright cushions. I'm, I forgot to mention I'm stepping on this um, really nice ceramic tiles and uh, textured like uh, polished concrete. And really everything has a really beautiful vibe guys here and the view it's just amazing. Okay guys, so it's time now to go up and check the two small bedrooms and crossing these beautiful stairs. I see this really interesting detail and the railing here it's replaced by these steel cables and it's a really, really peculiar design. Okay guys, let's go. Okay, we finally are here at the second floor and guys, this foyer, it's really bright. This is because you can see at my back this roster wall. It's a really, really beautiful design here in Bali and it's not completely open. So there's a glass behind and it's a really smart way to avoid mosquitoes to enter the space and um, allowing the air con to keep everything fresh. And then on my other side, uh, we have this beautiful pre uh, system uh, made in wood. So guys, on my side, the two bedroom. So let's start with the first one. Wow, guys, the view from this angle, it's really amazing. There's this corner window that makes everything so bright, allows a lot of light to go in. And then the view on the rice paddies, it's just amazing. So guys, let's start this tour from here. And what I noticed here already is how bright is it? Not, so, not only because of the light, but also because of the choice of material. So I'm stepping on this really bright white composite uh, tiles and everything it's painted in white. Let's not forget rattan furnitures, teak and rattan furnitures that gives the tropical vibe uh, to the ambience. So we have a really simple layout here. It's a square layout and the bedroom is facing directly the rice paddies, the bed structure in wood. And then I really love this bed head decoration here in cement. It's a floral decoration and really gives 
um, a nice Bainese slash Bohemian touch uh, to the bedroom. And then always rattan for the bedside tables. And just appreciate guys with me that amazing view on the rice paddies. It's just, just really amazing. I wanna go out and check from the balcony. Big sliding floor to ceiling windows, of course. And then the, here, the difference of materials from, for the floor, you can see from composite tiles to polished ones um, here in the balcony. It's a nice breeze out here, it's really good. Okay guys, so bathroom, and I can see that all the materials used in the whole house, they're really coherent and consistent. It's never uh, overwhelming and everything is kept really minimal and with beautiful modern style. So here, the material that stands out, uh, the finish that stands out compared to all the others here in the shower, it's this fish scale shaped ceramic tiles and they really give this uh, darker vibe to the bathroom. So composite, uh, concrete, Composite used in different ways for the shower bottom and then for the basin top and it resembles the marble finish. So everything is really minimal here. Even the use of this circular mirror, the wash basin that looks like a stone, but it's still composite. And then this beautiful rattan pendant light that you see present throughout the whole house. So everything really kept really minimal and really modern and simple. Okay guys, second bedroom, follow me. And you will see again um, the really coherent use of materials and furniture here. It's really similar to the first bedroom. So you have the rattan furnitures, same layout for the bed area. And this is basically a smaller version of the other bathroom so it's there's you see the same uh, nice detail of the ceramic fish scales tiles and then again circular mirror with rattan light and composite uh, basin and everything kept very minimal one detail here that i see it's different than the other bathroom being small you have this really long and narrow uh, window to ensure that the light is coming in Okay, we leave the bathroom again, and then bedroom. So same uh, decoration on the bed head, really, really similar. Only difference here that I see is the two side lights. They have this really modern style. And then you still have this corner floor to ceiling window that ensure a lot of light coming in. But then this time uh, the view is different. So we are facing the roadside. And there's a detail here that was present in the balcony of the other bedroom and is this brisole uh, wooden stripes that are covering from the light. And this time they're used for the side of the bedroom instead of the balcony. Really beautiful guys. Okay guys, time to show you now why I think that this layout is really peculiar. And it's because the master bedroom is accessible from the outside swimming pool deck. And it's basically a dependence room, so it's built separated from the rest of the house. So follow me and let's check it out. Okay guys, so let's leave the swimming pool for later now and follow me inside this bedroom. As always, floor to ceiling windows, so they ensure a lot of natural light to come in the space. And you will see the very similar use, again, of the furniture. So there's a lot of rattan, there's the wooden uh, bed structure. And this time the design is quite different. You see that you can recognize that this is a master bedroom, not only because of the sides, but uh, because of the finishing and see this really nice pendant lights that they are different from the rest of the ones that you find in the house. And then the bed head also has a really 
peculiar design to it. The view obviously amazing to the swimming pool from this side and the rest pad is on the other side. So you will see here for the bathroom, a design that it's really loved around Bali. So there's many clients really interesting in this kind of design. And you see on my back here, the wash basins, they're built in front of a pocket garden. And the two mirrors, they look like they're floating because there's no solid wall behind them and a lot of natural light entering here. So you don't really need LED lights anymore to brighten the mirror. And then a composite top, thick furnitures and always stone style basin. Let's check the bottom guys. So we leave this um, polished concrete uh, ceramic finish tiles and then we do this transition to the brighter white composite floor and then outdoor bathroom. This is a same semi outdoor bathroom and it's really trendy here in Bali and I understand why. It gives a really, really strong uh, tropical vibe to the place. And then the use of the same stone that we see in the living room for the shower and everything again really bright and so natural. It's like the nature is coming in. Okay guys, last but not least, as always, the swimming pool side and I'm stepping here on a really beautiful Bankirai wood deck. So the pool on my side with Palimanan stone in the whole perimeter and the use as always as the, uh, the Sukabumi stone tile on the bottom to give this really green, bright um, look to it. And something really peculiar here on my back, you can see this wooden uh, decoration that gives this luxurious um, vibe to the swimming pool side and it's present here on top of me as and also on the back of the swimming pool and it's really a peculiar thing and then on the other side this really small minimalistic lounge area with the four seater and one of my personal favorites this hanging bamboo chair and guys now enjoy the view on the rice paddies because it's something really incredible here Okay guys, I leave you now with this beautiful view on the rice paddies and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for future updates and comment down below your favorite part of the villa so far. Matur Suksama and see you next time.